opportunity. Come on, Colossae. Without an out. O2. Got him. Oh, he went fishing all right. <laughs> wow. Even though the Guardians aren't going to the playoffs this year, no division, there's always next season, right, guys? But it's all right. We'll do better next season. Just too many injuries and everything. Getting beat by losing teams. Didn't help us out very much this season, so. See what happens next season. This came in as a pinch runner in the two run eight for Baltimore. Dropped it in, another slider. Yeah, I too. We're scoreless to the bottom of the fifth. Cleveland scored twice on Rodriguez. Baltimore scored twice. In the top half of the eighth. A little bit too high. Three in the bottom of the frame. Charge them all to Perez. Charge both Baltimore runs to Stephan. One, two. Got a piece of foul it off. Is the one, two. Dang, I'm just hitting, Klasse. Holy cow, dude. Pitch is way outside. That pitch went like... Man. Take your time, Klaus, eh? Well, he's done a few of these today that are just fastballs, but the pitch before almost hit. Things go right down the middle a lot more. Some strikeouts. Nice! Final countdown. Here's the matchup we wanted. As we see this case, borderline strike. Reese was hoping it'd be called the ball was not. If I knew this game was on, I would have uh, had a live stream. But if any more Guardians games have any more games on Fox 28, I'll have have to do a live stream of it in the future. I don't know when I'm going to go fishing, but we'll see what happens. He's had a flair for the dramatic on this club this year in Gunnar Henderson. Classe against Henderson with the game on the line. They're watching in Tampa right now, too. They're watching in Oakland, perhaps, as well. That one gets away, but not far enough. Gunnar Henderson with 27 home runs this year, but he made his debut last year. And this was home run number one off six at this park, deep to right center. He lost his helmet, too. But they let us flow. Been clutch this season. Big cut. Drive one. I've seen the Cleveland Guardians win a game on Fox 28. Thursday night game or Saturday night game before. 
but it's been a while since they've done that. So. Not even close. Henderson's open. He throws one a little bit down, about thigh high, out over the plate. Because if he throws it in, it's a tough ball to keep fair. If he throws it up, it's a tough ball to get on top of. 2 1. Henderson in the left field. Juan's there. And that'll do it. That'll do it. Gets out of it. Gets the save. 42 to lead Major League Baseball. The Guardians help the Rangers. Well, best I guess the best thing to do, the Guardians can maybe go to 81 and 81 like they did a few years ago, but this is going to be Terry Francona's last season with the Guardians. It's looking like he's going to retire. So, see if Cleveland can get a sweep over Baltimore. Win for Terry Francona and the Guardians, but a bigger win if you're a Rays fan because that just brought you closer to the Orioles who you're trying to chase down. See what happens the rest of the series, but a big win for the Guardians. They stave off the Twins, hopes for the Central Division title as well. Twins will have an opportunity tomorrow against the Angels to clinch the AL Central. Magic number for Baltimore at the top of the AL East is still stuck at seven. Five and two in the final tonight for AJ Krasinski and the wonderful women and men of our Fox Sports crew, Adam Amin. Six solo out from Cleveland, Chris and Don Trowler coming up after this. Well, Guardians won tonight, but yeah. Seeing them get beat by a losing Royals team, especially getting beat by losing teams, that's not a good that's not a good thing. So the reasons why the Cleveland Guardians did not make the playoffs and are not going to win the division this season, they get beat by losing sucking teams that are worse than they are. And of course the injury plague, which has been wrecking havoc on them, and also the Cleveland Browns as well. Um but next season for the Guardians, I think they'll be better. But there's always next season for them to make the playoffs, win the division next season, right? But I for the Cleveland Guardians, if they're ever going to win a World Series championship and then make the playoffs and win the division next season, I want 100% complete protection from the injury plague. So the Guardians can get all that done and get it all accomplished. But for the Browns, Kareem Hunt is back. Pretty awesome. But guys, I will continue to keep I will continue to keep praying for Nick Chubb. And hope he makes a speedy recovery. And uh hope we'll have him back next season. But Two games in, I mean, 15 games left. The Cleveland Browns still have plenty of time to turn the, turn it around. I mean, there's a chance Derrick Henry may not play Sunday, so Browns defense can get a lot more pressure on Ryan Tannehill. And then Deshaun Watson, if he gets back to what he was, how he was playing with the, when the Browns played the Bengals in week one, when they held the, the Bengals and Joe Burrow to only three points and a field goal, Browns have a pretty good shot of uh, winning the EFC North division and making the playoffs this season. Hopefully you get a Super Bowl championship, but I've never seen the Cleveland Browns win an EFC North division before, so hopefully I can get that marked off my bucket list this year. But I really hope, really hope the injury plague will stay away from them. And the Cleveland Browns will have a 100% protection from the injury plague. And hopefully God can give them that protection. He's given me a lot of protection here lately. Um, I had a sore ankle. I twisted my ankle trying to go up the steps and then almost fell down the steps backwards. But it was pretty sore for a couple weeks, but... All in all, the the pain in my ankle is pretty much gone now, so praise Jesus. 
and uh um some other things um which i uh hope hope to mention in a video coming up within the next couple days things that didn't get done this year and then uh here in a few days about a, a week or more i'll be celebrating one year on youtube as a youtuber and uh I want to thank everyone for subscribing to my YouTube channel, and it means a lot. Thanking, I want to thank you guys for helping me get to 200 subscribers. And, uh, hopefully get to 300 before the end of the year. Maybe even before Christmas, possibly. But, anyway, guys, if you like this video, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel, and uh, stay tuned for more, and uh, God bless. And, uh, stay safe and uh, go Guardians and go Browns. But, like I said, Guardians can do better next season. I mean, there's always next season, right? We got a chance another run at the division and make the playoffs next season. So, as a Guardians fan and as a Cleveland Browns fan, you got to stick with them. You got to stick with your, te your favorite teams that you like, no matter what, if they win or lose, or no matter how hard they struggle. But, Let's see how well we do next season, but we'll get better next season. But anyway, guys, stay tuned for more.